What's good, fellas? I'm Rupert Views, and today I'll be reviewing Christopher Nolan's Tenet. Profession. Well, that from here. Hasn't happened yet. Now, any good fan of Rupert Views will know that I love a good Christopher Nolan movie. The Dark Knight, you've got Inception, Interstellar, but Tenet, it's a little over the edge. Now this movie stars John David Washington, Denzel Washington's son, Robert Pattinson, the new Batman, Kenneth Branagh, Gild, 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 Gild I don't know how to pronounce that, man. I gotta search that up. Gilda, Gilda Roy Lockhart in the Harry Potter series. Hamish Patel, the guy from the Beatles movie. And, you know, you know my man, Michael Caine. He's been in, like, every single Christopher Nolan movie. I definitely saw some great things visually in this movie. Um, and one fun fact, there was no green screen used at all in the process of filming. Christopher Nolan wants to keep everything at real I do consider the factor that there was no green screen use a plus towards the end of the ratings of the movie because it did feel more humane and it made the movie feel more impactful. In my opinion, I do believe Christopher Nolan is one of the most revolutionary filmmakers of our time. He's made some of the most confusing movies that start off super confusing and you judge it like it's one of the most going to be one of the most confusing movies ever. But then towards the end, everything starts to make sense and you're left in like a state of awkward confusion, but then you put together the pieces and you're like, this is actually like a really good movie. But after a while, I did start to get what's going on and I thought that it had a really good storyline. It could have just been done a little bit more properly. Now, The movie was great visually, uh, many scenes in Dubai, they had scenes in London, it was just so, it was so fun to watch them go one place to another in, the, in like a snap of their finger, and I do think that Robert Pattinson and Kenneth Branagh stole the show. Now Kenneth Branagh, if you don't know him, he was, as I said earlier, Gilderoy, Gilder I can't pronounce that man, he was Gilderoy Lockhart in the Harry po second Harry Potter movie, he also is made his director debut with movies like Thor, um, Death on the Nile, Murder on the Orient Express, you know, like all that. In my opinion, Kenneth Branagh is a super underrated actor, and I used to think Robert Pattinson is a super, was a super underrated actor, but now he's just glowing up, getting all these roles, so good for him, man. But I did love Kenneth Branagh, he made a great villain, and he really was a, one of the best antagonists in Christopher Nolan's movies. If I would have to say the best part about Tenet was definitely the action scenes. They were super cool, like winded up almost, and then just released. And after a while, you kind of were like, yo, that, that's like super cool. It was also cool to untangle the laws that inversion... Wow, car. It was also fun to um, untangle the laws that inversion held like um there's not <laughs> i don't want to say one because it would kind of spoil the movie and um and it's just so confusing to a point where you have to watch the movie to get what i'm talking about so i'm not gonna whatever although it was so fun to see these characters bloom these visual effects bloom these action scenes bloom the story in my opinion is the the best part of a flick and when I say the story was confusing in a bad way, I mean it was so hard to follow. It was super literal. It just seemed off the top. The main character's name in the cast list was the protagonist. Like, he didn't have a name. Well, he probably had a name, they just didn't give him a name, they just called him the protagonist. But, you know, like, why, 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 don't, why don't you, why can't you give him a name? Like, he's just a guy. Why call him the protagonist? make everything so much more confusing but I do think Christopher Nolan really knocked this movie out of the park I think that it's a fun time uh, anyone who goes to see it will love the action love the suspense love what's going on and the scenes are just so cool and when I say it, they're so cool they're so fun to watch like just something never been seen on screen 
before. Um, in all, I think that I'd give Tenet a 6 out of 10 for its dazzling visuals, its strong acting, its super cool scenes. But it was confusing to a point where it was hard to understand and it was, it was kind of bland. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna press the off button now.